purchase a PS4 game system. You will often get the PS4 controller at no additional cost. You will get the DualShock 4 wireless controller, which can connect to the video game system independently of the need of any cables, even though it has a good track record of performance. This controller is not immune to the kinds of problems that we are going to talk about resolving today. If your PS4 controller is flashing white and does not work properly, check out the solutions in this video. this particular scenario. The very first thing that you will need to do is to reset the controller in order to give it a new start. How to do it? Use a small pin, paper clip or something similar to press the reset button on your controller for 3 seconds. The reset button is located on the back by the top right screw near the L2 shoulder button. Take note that the controller should be turned on and the white light should be blinking when you do this. Once you have reset the controller, 1. Turn your PS4 off completely. Wait for 2-3 to three minutes. Turn your PS4 back on and try connecting the controller to the console. Check if the PS4 controller flashing white issue still occurs. The wired connection is yet another method that may be used in order to connect the controller to the PlayStation 4. You need to give this a go to see whether it works, and if it does, you may go ahead and switch to using a wireless connection. Turn off your PS4 device from the front of the console and put it in sleep mode. When all the lights from the console disappear after performing step 1, unplug the power cable from the outlet. Press the power button on the PS4 for 30 seconds to make sure all the power is drained. Connect the controller to the PS4 USB micro cable. Turn on the console. Check if the PS4 controller flashing white issue still occurs. If it doesn't then try switching back to a wireless connection. Using the second controller, you will make various adjustments to the configuration settings of the console. Connect the second controller to the console properly and make sure it is working. Use the second controller to go to settings. Devices. Then Bluetooth devices. Make sure that only the working controller is present in this window. On the controller which isn't working, press the share button for 5 seconds or so. Also, press the PS button at the same time until you see the light bar flash twice every second or so. After following both steps, you will now see both controllers. Working, green light, connected, not working, no green light. Now using the working controller. Select the not working controller and it will attempt to pair with the device it will show please wait. You will be asked to connect to the new device. Press yes. Check if the PS4 controller flashing white issue still occurs. When you start the console in safe mode, just the most basic controls and options are available. You will be able to undertake a number of different troubleshooting procedures from this location. Press the power button present on the front panel of the PS4 to turn it off. The indicator will blink a few times when the PS4 is off. Press and hold the power button. Continue to press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps. The first beep will usually be heard when you press it initially and the second beep when you keep pressing it for around 7 seconds. After performing step 2 successfully, connect the PS4 controller with the USB cable and press the PlayStation button present on the controller. You are now successfully in safe mode. Once you are in safe mode, select the fifth option rebuild database. This option will scan your entire drive and create a new database of the contents. Wait until the process is complete. It may take some time depending on the amount of data. This option may erase all your data and configurations on your PlayStation 4. Remember to save your data correctly before you proceed with this solution. Check if the PS4 controller flashing white issue still occurs. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.